Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a 12 by 12 uh, layout using the Color Rush Studio kit that is called Old Saint Nick. It came featuring the Tis the Season collection from Simple Stories. You saw an unboxing and a previous layout done. And today we are working on another layout featuring all these great products. So what I've done is pull out three sheets that I want to use for this. And in essence, I'm going to be using my heart, uh, not heart, circle punches. I have a one inch and a one and a half inch punch. We're going to punch a lot of circles. And what I want to do is cut out a triangle, a long triangle, because we're going to make a tree with all the circles. And I'm doing it on like a heavyweight uh, cardstock because once they're you know, on here, I do want to like slice down the edges so that it looks like perfect and not have it off the edge, I'm thinking. But in essence, there's going to be a really big tree on the page first. So we're going to use this to make a tree, put all the circles on it, then back it on maybe another white one, white piece of paper, so that it pops with all these gorgeous colors and collections. So we're definitely going to show the plaid side. We can show the snowflake side for some of the neutral. And then this, I just thought, because it's so busy, the circles will look great. A great red, a great stripe. And then that one's kind of busy. I'm not really worried about this side, even though I didn't want to use it, but I just love this stripe. So we'll use <clears throat> a piece. So maybe, see, I, I really like this one. So maybe I'll just cut out like the three that I definitely want to use and then these can be the ones we circle out because I won't mind losing those. So that is the plan so far. And this one's really thick. So maybe I'll use this one for the background. So this one's really thick, Basil. Um, I believe this one is always called Marshmallow, the really thick one. And then this one is just the textured on one side, smooth on the other. And this one is uh, Basil White. So on Basil White, we'll cut out the big triangle and then on the basil marshmallow, we'll leave that one to mount the whole project on. So, and then for the title piece to work with, I do have this large Mary that came in the kit with all the sparkles still, which we will use. And then it also had, where's my rest of my goodies? It had the thicker collection, which is right here. So we might pull from that. And then I have all the rest of the goodies in the old St. Nick kit too. So we have ribbon, which maybe will be a topper. We have stockings. You saw me haul over this. Candy canes will go on the tree. These are all my scraps. I always keep them. Maybe some of these uh, little cork pieces. So we'll definitely have fun embellishing it. But we'll make those choices at the end. For now, let's make the, the tree and start punching out all the lovely papers. So let's get started. So the first thing I wanted to do when I am starting this kind of tree that I thought in my head was to um, make it so that it was tall. I want it tall and like 12 by 12. So all I did was use my ruler to make a line and a diagonal to a certain point and then just use that same point and came back down so that it was just a easy triangle to make. Um, that way I know that this is gonna be adhered with all of these one inch circle punches. And I did a, quite a few like at this first round, but as I started layering them, cause I had them overlap a lot, um, I needed tons more of circles, <laughs> ton more of these circles. So you'll see me kind of go back um, and punch out like another batch worth of them. Um, which is okay. I mean, like I said, you always start off with a little bit. You're like, that's enough. And then you kind of go on from there. So I definitely needed a lot more. But what I love always too about, well, what I loved about this technique in particular, even when you're using a one inch punch anyway, is that at least these papers were double sided. So I may have only had one side that you could see, but you can flip them over. So really I had six different patterns um, to use. And I tried not to have t like too many of them be similar that touched but once in a while uh, they did but at least it's like a stripe and a plaid and stuff so once you kind of rotate it a little bit it didn't look to be like the same pattern each and every time so that definitely helped uh, what i also liked about this collection was that it wasn't just like a stark white to um these pattern these patterns it was almost like an off-white slash creamy color um, which gives it a little bit more of a vintage look uh, for overall, like like I said, it was also 
like just a you know when you're layering them you don't realize how many you're going to need so once you start doing a certain like look of overlapping them and stuff this turned out to be just a labor of love but once again i always tell you guys i when i'm doing things like this i turn on my audiobook and these kind of i will say like these uh I'll just say mindless but these things that are like repetitive like this or like fussy cutting do not bother me at all um i listen to my book and i'm able to do it and this is like enjoyable for me, <laughs> very enjoyable for me. So I'm using my mono liquid, the clear glue. I do have the white one as well and I interchange them. Um, I think they both work the same in my opinion. Uh, sometimes for me, I think I just prefer seeing white glue just as a, as a nostalgic thing because both of them are good <laughs> products. So this one takes a while. So I wonder too, if it always, um, might try it again with different colors because it might be also uh, cool just to have it done with like solid colors like if you just had red green uh, white uh, if you had gold or silver paper um, this could also like pack a punch too so once again I know I've posted another layout where I did like the zigzaggy trees and now this is like a circle-y ornamenty kind of tree both of these I almost want to recreate in a smaller scale in my 6x8 December daily album so I will definitely keep my own projects in mind when I'm doing <laughs> December daily and when I'm doing this voiceover it is the fourth and I have I've already filmed I just haven't edited uh, days one and two I have day three on my desk so I just need uh, today's story um, as well and then I'm pretty caught up I just have to edit and post these videos so they are coming um, stay tuned <laughs> <laughs> and so once I'm doing all of this, then I get to starting to like embellish the rest of the layout. So once it's there, you know, as big as it was, and I did matte it, you saw me kind of gut the red paper because that's what I wanted to use as a mat. And I already cut the rest of the paper after using it for the circle punch to be my mat for my photo. When I did my photo, it's just two three by fours. Well, slightly smaller than that because I gave them a white border. Um, I did that in a collage app that I usually use and send it to print to my Epson Picture Mate, which is my trusty ride or die 4x6 printer that I do at home. And then the big Mary piece, I love this script. Um, this one was in the kit as well. I already used the word joy, so here I am trying to use uh, the word Mary. And then I'm using the black tool. You guys, look how cute that came out. So the black tool, it was like a square piece and I just cut it down the center. And so I had two of these like longer pieces and all I did was bunch it up in the center. And I think what I did on the side, you, I took it off camera for a moment is because I sewed it onto the paper because I knew there was no kind of glue or anything that was gonna do it. I probably could have used my tiny attacher, but I definitely know I put some gold thread and zigzag stitch in the middle there and have a little frilly pom pom -y bow with the black tool that came in the kit. Definitely have tried to make myself use the uh, texture element in every kit she's provided. So the first time was like a chicken wire and a certain ribbon and then a kit after that was like a burlap lace ribbon i've used that and then the one after that has been three or four kits already yeah so i always definitely try to incorporate the texture that they provide because i think it's such a cool element um, in the color rush studio kit so here i am adding they provided in this kit to remember all of those big silver diamondy stone looking sequins so i'm adding that sprinkled all over the place and then I did use the Santa cork and the puffy heart pillowy things, pillowy embellishment. And I can't forget about the gold Heidi shine. Gotta always finish off the layers with that one. And that wraps it up. Okay, everyone, that completes this layout. <laughs> It's so cute. Okay, because I did a little bit of everything is why I love it. I love the little pom-pom bow that I did with the trim that came with the kit. I love all the silver sparkles and then the gold splatter. I try to get a nice cluster going on. It looks so good. And these are current photos. So this is this year's holiday season already has commenced. So this can go straight into the album for this, this year. Because I had that question before on my last video, like if I was scrapping photos from last year, do I put it in last year's album? And 
it makes sense to do that. I just haven't. If I just created it this year, it just goes in this year's album, you know, but it's a story from before. So going forward, I think I will always put, if I scrap an old photo, I'll put it in that year's album. But yeah, this one, this one, so cute. And I really love these cork pieces. They have so much detail. I wonder how she makes them. Very cool. And a good old tree with all those one inch uh, dots or circles that I had. I have a few left over. But give this technique a try with any collection. It definitely will showcase all of the pretty papers. And I love the way it turned out. I will leave the link down below for the old St. Nick kit. But I'll be honest, I don't know if it's going to be still available. But if you do have collections and you're doing December Daily, uh, keep this layout in mind for a nice way to showcase a lot of papers and do a fantastic tree. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me as always. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up and until next time, bye.